Vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D is important in the proper maturation and development of bone. It also boosts our immunity. Nowadays, our immune system needs to work harder to fight infection. And the fuel of the immune system is vitamin D. So we need vitamin D. The symptoms of vitamin D deficiency are subtle and non-specific, and the majority of people are not aware of it. When you have a deficiency of vitamin D, don't take too little or too much vitamin D from supplement sources. You work with your doctor to see how much vitamin D you need, and it may take many months to fix the vitamin D deficiency. We use the term deficiency if the level is below 20, and we use the term insufficiency if the level is 20 to 30 NG per milliliter. Greater than 30 is adequate. This is just a recommendation. Adults with vitamin D deficiency should be given approximately 50,000 international units of vitamin D3 once a week for eight weeks with the goal of achieving blood levels of vitamin D25 above 30. This is followed by maintenance therapy between 1,500 to 2,000 international units daily, which can be from diet and supplement sources. The main function of vitamin D is absorption of calcium and phosphate from the intestine. Vitamin D also works on the bones. Vitamin D increases calcium and phosphate through increased absorption of calcium and phosphate from the intestine and increases bone resorption of calcium and phosphate. Impaired mineralization can lead to rickets in the young and osteomalacia in adults. Vitamin D comes from three sources, from the diet, from the sun, by acting on the skin and from supplements. What is the daily requirement of vitamin D? In a healthy young adult, the recommended daily allowance for vitamin D is 400 to 800 international units a day. Vitamin D is synthesized in the skin epithelium under ultraviolet B light radiation. It undergoes two hydroxylation, 25 in the liver and one in the kidney, to form the active form of vitamin D-125. Exposure to the sun for about 15 minutes will give you about 10,000 units of vitamin D. This crude vitamin D gets activated in the liver. Staying home limits the amount of time spent in public. So the amount of vitamin D that's coming through the sun is less. So you will need to get more vitamin D through other sources, such as diet and supplements. Vitamin D3, you can get it over the counter and it's absorbed much better than vitamin D2. Direct sunlight on the skin is important, and there is a period of low sun strength in this period from October to March. Depending on the diet and the sun exposure, the vitamin D level varies significantly. Many sun-deprived individuals are looking for supplements. So try to measure your vitamin D level because you want to know what is your level, whether you have enough or not, so you can correct it. 
A dark-skinned person is susceptible to vitamin D deficiency, and so are menopausal females. So you need to have either sufficient vitamin D intake through the diet, take supplements, or gain access to sunlight. Vitamin D exposure through the skin from the sun for 15 minutes a day may be enough and you can double that amount of time in a dark skin person. The amount of exposure to the sun varies depending on the season, the hour, the day, the age, the clothing, and the skin type. When individuals stay at home and spend more time at home to reduce the risk of exposure to infection, that did not allow them to get exposure to the sun. Physical activity decreased during the lockdown. It seems that vitamin D tests should be offered to all individuals with a high risk for vitamin D deficiency. Some portion of vitamin D is obtained from the food. You need the necessary daily amount of vitamin D. You will find vitamin D in oily fish, salmon, sardines, herring, mackerel. You also find it in egg yolks, in mushrooms, in dairy products, in butter, cheese, and meat. So it might be a good idea to eat fish once or twice a week. One cup of milk will contain 100 international units. So there is a little amount of vitamin D in the diet. So this is the vitamin D pathway. The UV light will work on the skin. You will have pre-vitamin D. It goes to the liver. It gets hydroxylated to 25 hydroxy vitamin D. Then it goes to the kidney to get 125 hydroxy vitamin D. It is the active form that will work on the intestine and on the bone. So the active form of vitamin D is called 125 hydroxy vitamin D. And this is the active form. It works mainly on the intestine to absorb calcium and phosphate. This activation of vitamin D is under the control of the parathyroid hormone. 40% of adults in the United States has vitamin D deficiency and it's more prevalent in nursing homes, even in the pediatric population. With most activities carried out indoors, the chance of getting some sun is low for the elderly. Older individuals ingest less vitamin D and are unable to generate as much vitamin D as younger people through the skin in response to ultraviolet exposure because they are confined to a nursing home. They are not on the sun. You must have an adequate vitamin D intake all year round. Our immune system needs to work harder than before. Fewer hours are spent in the sun due to COVID-19 and vitamin D levels may fall. Vitamin D deficiency may become a health crisis as the result of COVID-19 lockdown inactivity of the population, and lack of exposure to the sun. Vitamin D by itself can help to fight the infection. A decrease in the level of vitamin D will result in decrease in calcium absorption. A 25 vitamin D is the most commonly ordered study for a patient who are suspected to have low vitamin D levels. So why vitamin D25 is the appropriate study? Because it has a long half-life, two to three weeks, and has a higher concentration. So it is a good test for vitamin D status.
So what happened if there is lack of vitamin D or vitamin D deficiency? Patient may get depression, fatigue, tiredness, and decreased physical activity, muscle weakness, hair loss, bone pain, sleeping disorders, reduced bone mass, slow healing of fractures, or non-union of fractures. Patient also may get cardiovascular disorders. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.